Hi, uh, today's story is about the subcutaneous emphysema. Uh, when we have problem with uh, lung overexpansion ascent, there are four major symptoms like uh, subcutaneous emphysema and uh, other areas like uh, lung, heart, and even arterial circulation the air can go in there and cause lots of problems. But today's issue is about the subcutaneous emphysema without breath hold ascent. Very recently, uh, sorry about this, but uh, this is uh, my SNS and had a question like this. And uh, it says, hi doc. I'm now diving on a liverboard and just finished my third dive of the fifth day. Looks like there's only one more day left. I had some problem with Valsalva and had to force a little harder than usual to clear my ears. On board again, I feel some cracking sound or feeling under the skin of my right shoulder, neck and upper chest. And my dive master is telling me that I might have some subcutaneous emphysema. Can air escape from the middle ear and go to shoulder and chest? I do not think I made a breath hold ascent. Um, would it be okay to dive now? I have my last day of two dives tomorrow morning and I need some uh, advice please. Um, very interesting uh, incident. I personally didn't experience this before and uh, this was my answer and it goes Hi, alveoli can rupture when you valsalva too hard because the pressure inside your alveoli can go higher than the pressure alveoli membrane can resist. The tolerable pressure difference varies. The air from your middle ear cannot find its way to subcutaneous tissue for sure. No hyperbaric therapy is needed. And I recommend you to stop diving from now and for at least four weeks so that the damaged alveoli can heal. It would be a good idea you abstain from diving when you have any equalization problem. They can be uh, the alveoli can be damaged even easier. Um, this is a very rare occasion, a post-dive subcutaneous emphysema without lung overexpansion injury. So it comes from pulmonary uh, barotrauma. Uh, when you do some too strong equalization, Varsalva, that can elevate the pressure of air space of the lungs uh, air escape through lung tissues, then go to subcutaneous tissue. So again, um, it's very important that we don't dive when we have equalization problem. Uh, soon I will uh, come back uh, with general uh, bubbles and alveoli problem. So this was a very uh, brief a uh, story on subcutaneous emphysema without making breath or descent. Thank you very much.